gonna do a little shopping on Irmo Street today, so come on with me. Irmo Street in Athens, Greece is a bustling and iconic shopping street known for its vibrant atmosphere and diverse offerings, ranging from international brands to local boutiques and businesses. This pedestrian-friendly street connects Syntagma Square to Monasteraki Square, providing both locals and tourists with a dynamic shopping experience in the heart of Athens. As a tip, don't forget to negotiate prices at some of the stands, but let's see what Irmo Street has to offer on today's journey. along Irmo Street, we ran into the ancient Agora, which is right behind me. That entire area behind me, you can gain entrance there too, with tickets of course, to go view the ancient marketplaces from, you know, the antiquities all the way back. And it may be a little bit too bright, but, so we've got the ancient Agora right behind here, and a little bit further up, of course, you have the Acropolis in the background. There are so many places where you can view the Acropolis, like it's ridiculous. From our hotel, we had breakfast on the third floor, which is close to the rooftop, and out the window you could just see it. It's just there, and every time you just look out, you're like, wow, I'm in Like, I'm in Athens looking at the Acropolis. It's incredible. So now we're just gonna go see what we can pick up or buy, or if anything, you know, on Irmo Street. Anything you want to buy in particular? Not really. All right, so we're just going to go browsing then. And there's also a train station here too. And now we're just going to continue on our journey. Get off on the Monasteraki stop. If you're waiting for the changing of the garden Athens and need to kill a little bit of time, just walk what, like two minutes? One minute, babe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, one minute down the street and you are at the National Garden, which used to be a palace garden. It is gorgeous. So we're gonna take you around there and then we're gonna go back to see if we can catch the changing of the garden. Established in 1839 by Queen Amelia, the National Garden is a 38-acre historic park that serves as a serene retreat in the heart of Athens. If you're looking for a bit of peace in the midst of a busy city and a free activity in Athens, Greece, this is the place for you. The National Garden boasts hundreds of varieties of trees and vibrant flowers from all over the world, with tranquil ponds quietly tucked beside them. Open from sunrise to sunset, the National Garden is a must-visit destination for travelers seeking a unique experience in the heart of Athens. We were so glad we stopped to rest for a while in this beautiful park before continuing with our day. What time is it, hon? Alright, 4.58. We're two minutes before. They do the changing of the guard every hour on the hour. Definitely a crowd, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to see, but we'll find a good place to stand somewhere. At the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Syntagma Square, we witnessed the changing of the guard ceremony in Athens, Greece. A blend of military precision and cultural significance dating back to the early 20th century. The elite of Zone's guards perform moves rich in symbolism, from reenacting combat kicks to forcefully stomping out and rejecting 400 years of slavery. After the ceremony, we grabbed a snack at Buffalo Gelato, where we devoured a 100% buffalo milk ice cream treat that tastes sweeter and creamier than regular ice cream, and is perfect for those who are a little lactose intolerant. After that, we strolled in a few shops in Monasteraki before heading to dinner at All That Jazz. We stuffed our faces, then headed back to our hotel to rest for tomorrow's adventure to two Greek islands.
The next day, we woke up bright and early to go on a much-anticipated all-day cruise to three Greek islands, Agistri, Moni, and Aena. This small group cruise included a round-trip van transfer from central Athens to the port of Piraeus. Coffee, juice, water, tea, pastries, lunch, and drinks. When searching for tours, I debated booking a larger boat experience, but I am so glad we opted for this cruise. Even though our initial sailing was rebooked due to weather, our staff was professional, kind, friendly, spoke multiple language, and everyone had a comfortable place to relax with a view on top deck. Sailing to at least one Greek island is a must when visiting Athens, and our trip couldn't have been any better. So join us as we sail this all-day cruise day trip from Athens together. Crystal clear blue. We've got, you know, what, about two hours to explore the island, so that's what we're gonna do. Nice, there's places to swim and shop. Do y'all see how clear this water is? I mean, you can see straight through. Beautiful. After sailing for about an hour, we reached our first island, Agistri. Agistri is a wonderful place for water sports like windsurfing, water skiing, fishing, snorkeling, and diving, and also for explorative hiking, cycling, and horseback riding. For us, it was the perfect low-key spot to wander along the quiet winding roads besides crystal clear water and soak up the beautiful sights and warm sun. What you got there? The rocks are so colorful. We've got a green, of course, the gray, and the orange colored rocks. That's my free souvenir. It's the rocks on a plane. Just be careful, it does not, those rocks don't uh, make your luggage go overweight. Uh, he's like, right, I'll be good, I'll be straight. <laughs> now, Agistri is so quiet here. This is like the perfect place if you just want to like get away and just be in like silence and enjoy beautiful water. We touched it, it is so warm. And it's just quiet here, like you can, I feel like I'm the loudest person here talking. And if you wanna go on like a honeymoon or you just wanna be away and go to a small town, enjoy some good food and just sit and like look at that or swim in that, this is the town for you. What do you think so far, hun? Good time to to chill and do whatever you want to do. To plan well for a day trip to any of the Greek islands, we recommend wearing light colored, comfortable, quick drying clothes that you can easily interchange throughout the day. It helps to know the beach sand is typically made of larger rocks, so sturdy shoes are a must. Finally, don't forget to bring a small amount of cash for souvenirs and any additional treats on land, say about 30 euros per person. Also pack your swimsuit, cover up, quick dry towel, and essentials like sunscreen, flip flops, sunglasses, and a wide brim hat to shield yourself from the beautiful yet relentless Mediterranean sun. I picked up this floppy hat while shopping on Irmo Street the night before and it was the perfect accessory to shield myself from the sun while on the water. After Agistri, we stopped outside of Mani to swim. I mean, how could you see this beautiful blue water but not want to jump in? We swam into our heart's content, then climbed back on board for delicious, hearty, homemade Greek food buffet lunch. We're sailing to our next stop, Aina. Next stop, we are in Aina, and it's one of the other smaller Greek islands that we're visiting today. They're known for pistachios, so we're gonna go try to find either a pistachio mojito, pistachio ice cream, or just whatever we can with pistachios because they come highly recommended. Aena is one of the most popular destinations for a day trip from Athens, as it is the closest island to Athens at only one hour away. There's something for everyone in Aena. Artists will love the abundance of unique crafts and photogenic sites. 
Historians will enjoy seeing the ancient ruins of the first Greek capital, and foodies will enjoy extremely high-quality pistachios, widely considered to be the best in the world. I mean, in all forms, from liquid liqueur to roasted whole. As a foodie, let's see if these pistachio treats are worth the hype. So it was a little bit of a madhouse over there, but it was so good. We tried, oh my gosh, pistachio pesto, pistachio Nutella. We're gonna try some pistachio ice cream. We even got fresh pistachios. They're so good, we're so good. So we went in at the pistachio store. We got a whole bag full of nuts. We got, y'all, when we say this pistachio butter is absolute fire. Oh my goodness. But Let's try the ice cream. Let's give it a shot, huh? Let me know what you think. First bite. How was it? It was good. It was really good? Yeah. Right, cool. I never did expect the pistachio to taste this good. Yeah, let me give a shot. Let me try. Yeah, it's a little scary to see all these like random nuts on top, but let's give it a shot. Smooth, isn't it? What I like about Greek food so far is that it's got such a smooth taste. It's not too bitter, not too sweet. It's really like mild and flavorful, mind you, but it's so sweet. And the pistachio doesn't slap you in the face. It's just the right amount to get the flavor. Mm. My mouth is watering. It's really good. Really, really good. I think I'm gonna finish this one. Yeah, you better share it now, because you don't like junk food. Uh, I like this. So far, this is another really quiet town. So relaxing, lots of cool like little trinkets and leaves. Of course you have your souvenir shops. Cannot pass those up. And pistachio all day, every day. This is where you can rent bikes and boats. Buy goods. Go to the market area. And let's see what we have going on here. As always, when you travel, you meet new friends, and guess whose birthday it is? Hi! Hey, everyone! Sylvia the Explorer! Yes, Sylvia the Explorer. Go on Instagram at... Sylvia the Explorer. Yes, check her out, because we are living our life. It is her birthday. She's Thank out you. here, living her best life, so... Yes. And so are we. So let's continue on, and stop, and have a good time. Enjoy! Thanks! Yeah. And of course, we went for another pistachio. Gelato. Look at this. You can see the roof. Let's take a little trip around the boat. We've got a wonderful table to dine at. Downstairs facilities where we eat. We have water and food. And on the deck, plenty of places to sit. Nero. <laughs> As the sun began to set, we sailed back to the port of Piraeus. 
On the way, we listened to music, chatted with our fellow shipmates, while others took a peaceful nap on the sea. I cannot recommend this trip enough. The crew was fantastic, especially Mohammed and Pablo, the attendants who went above and beyond in ensuring everyone was well taken care of. This trip is not sponsored and the opinions are all my own based off my experience that you see here. And I love to lift up and promote excellent small businesses in the travel and tourism space. So if you want to check them out before your next trip to Athens, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But for now, it's time to say goodbye to the Calypso and crew before enjoying our final night in Athens, Greece. And just like that, we are all done on our Greek island boat cruise. Good times. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> wah, wah. Good times, good food, good vibes, right? <laughs> that was too fast. Yeah. yeah, it was way too, it means too fast, but it was, I mean, we spent a whole day from like 9 a.m. all the way at 6 o'clock p.m. now. And as soon as it started getting colder, we got back, which is a good thing. But the weather was absolutely perfect. It was gorgeous, right, hon? Yeah. Yeah, so highly recommend everything. Like from the staff was so friendly. We had Muhammad and Pablo, who were our attendants, and man, from drinks, everything was included, right? Yep. Drinks to food, uh, amazing, amazing. So I'll put the link in the description box down below if you want to check it out. But now, back off, back to the hotel. This is our last night. We're gonna grab some food and then we'll be on a plane to Paris and then back home. Too soon, way too soon. For our final meal, we headed to Talixto, a popular restaurant specializing in quality, affordable Greek food. We hope you really enjoyed our Athens vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and we hope it gave you ideas to help you plan well, have fun and travel the world to Greece. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh, and I can't forget. Here's what we had to eat. An meal, pork and chicken mange with pita, tzatziki and fries and a chicken noodle. Danny, Danny, Danny.